Hello and welcome to Rule of Three's video review for Final Fantasy XIII and Three Lightning Returns from Square Enix. So this is the final game in the XIII saga. Now while I do like Final Fantasy, I have mixed feelings about the XIII games. The first was okay, the characters were fine, the story was a little on the weaker side, and but it had its moments and the combat was okay. The good stuff unfortunately was way too far in, by the time you got there you kind of burned out so it had a little bit of, you know, they waited too long to let you do what you wanted to do in a Final Fantasy game. 13 2 I felt was a little bit step back in the right direction. Uh, it has a little bit, had a little bit more of a non-linear progression path. Uh, there's a lot of side quests and things you can do and a fun little monster collecting system which I really enjoyed. However, once again the story kind of got a little bit more confusing and a little bit more convoluted and they kind of hurt it a little bit. 13 3 ends the story of lightning and ties up all the loose ends from 13 2. Wow, would you just look at it? The chaos is going to swallow everyone up. I think the savior has to do something. The story takes place 500 years in the future after 13 2. The Unleashed Chaos has made the remaining humans in the world immortal to age. The landscape has pretty much been destroyed other than these four areas that are left in the game. And everybody's pretty much just waiting to die for the world to end. It's actually like they want it now more than anything. Lightning awakens from her crystal slumber that she was put into at the end of the 13-2 DLC and is chosen by the god Bruna Bruzia. I cannot pronounce his name, but uh, he's god and he has selected Lightning to be the savior and collect the souls of the remaining humans before he destroys the world and rebuilds it with the souls that you are able to collect because you cannot replace souls apparently. If you do not collect a soul, it is lost forever. Now, the deal is you have 13 days to do this, and if Lightning is able to succeed in this, her sister Sarah is going to be brought back to life. Now, each area in the game also has its small little story going on, dealing with some of the major characters from the 13 games. However, the story is, I feel, even weaker than 13's 2, and they sucked all the fun and personality out of Lightning and Hope, who Hope in 13 2, I felt, became a little bit stronger of a character. And this one, they just sucked it all out. Same with Lightning, and there is a story reason for it, but it's a pretty crappy one, and they lose all their personality. And the other major characters from 13 also kind of have their characteristics like kind of weakened a little bit. And the story on the whole is just kind of forgettable. Uh, at least the side quests and the main story is kind of eh, but it's confusing as hell too if you don't know what's going on. Uh, side quests are well, there are some side quests that have you know some interesting stories but on the whole there you know, bleh and forgettable. And on the whole, the story in this one leaves much to be desired for a conclusion game. Gameplay has also changed very significantly. Instead of a turn-based uh, or ATB system, you now it's a full real-time instance battle. Combat is based off of what your outfit that you're wearing is, as well as the moves you have equipped to those outfits. You can kind of think of the dread spheres from Tan 2 to some extent, but done a lot better. The interface for creating the outfits is pretty straightforward and easy. It's also fun to mix and match which shirt, shields, swords you want to be using, and you can create a lot of different unique outfits. You can have a total of four different moves attached to each, and can switch between outfits in combat. This is all in real time, so you have to know when monsters will do certain abilities and have the right outfits on with the right move set, giving it a little bit more of a strategical design instead of just, you know, a one outfit, you know, or fits all kind of situation. That's not going to happen. You're going to have many different dress spirits or outfits for different variety of situations. Uh, the game also gets rid of leveling, and instead you have to fuse moves to get to level up those abilities. Uh, doing side quests and the main story quests also uh, net you some stat increases. Instead of it being, you know, you get this amount of XP, you level up. It, that's gone, instead it's just a straight, get as you know, collect this move, fuse move together, increase level of move. Uh, combat is pretty fun, and the, a big improvement on the system that they were using in 13 and 13 too, for what they wanted. Uh, the other mechanic that's huge in this is the time limit mechanic. At the start of the game, you have six days. Each minute is, or each minute is a second, in, I mean minute in our world, so you have or excuse me, each minute in their world is a second, in our world, so you have 24 minutes per day. Now, this can be extended with EP. EP is gained at the end of battles, and you collect it, and then you get one EP point and two EP points, and so on and so forth, and you can use these EP points 
for a few uses, including healing yourself and teleporting. But the most useful one is stopping time. And stopping time is important if you want to get everything done in a very, you know, before the day is over and have enough time to get everything done. Uh, so now you start with six days, but you can max it out at 13 days if enough side quests are done. The basic idea is if you save enough souls, God allows the world to survive a few more days and, you know, it strengthens the world so you get a couple extra days. This is important because there are multiple endings to the game depending on how many things you were able to accomplish as well as if you got the 13 days and a bunch of other things like who you saved, who you didn't save, did, you know, all that fun stuff. And there's also a new game plus that if, you know, you weren't able to get the best ending that run, all your outfits, gear, move sets are carried over and you can do you know you start over but you have all that so you're a little bit more stronger and can get more done quicker and now the best ending can begin in, in one go but it's very difficult to do unless you master all the systems in this game i guess i must be doing something right god decided to give me a little taste of my final reward Thirteen three closes the 13th saga up but it doesn't go out quite with a bang it's battle system gameplay design are pretty good, however the story, quest line, side quest, characters, all that just kind of falls flat, which is a shame because I thought the way that 13.2 went, they had a lot of things going right, and I thought 13.3 would be, you know, they finally figured out what they were supposed to do with all the other games, and unfortunately that didn't happen. Now it's not a complete U-turn, but it's more of the, they went left instead of right kind of thing, uh, which is a shame because this leaves it out of rent. Uh, rating so take that with you know it's not the greatest in the 13 but you know it's it's okay wrap up but it could have been a lot better in my opinion so with that done now Square can get that you know Final Fantasy 15 made and out so the world can be happy and stop bugging them for it I know I will uh, thanks for listening everybody make sure to subscribe up top leave some comments like all that good stuff check out ruler3.com for uh, other things that I do and posts that I may put up every now and then. Uh, like us on Facebook and Twitter. All that good stuff. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Next week will be... Next week, uh, there's no new games coming out, so I'll probably that's probably when I'll post out last um, until the next new game comes out, uh, which I believe is, uh, there's going to be two. It's Donkey Kong Country, top, Tropical Freeze for the Wii U, as well as the new Thief, which I will be playing on the PS4. So make sure to turn in next week, and thanks for watching, everybody, and always remember to trust in the rule of three.